Hello. My name is Casey Branstetter, and I'm an intern here at Big Cypress National Preserve. Big Cypress is home to many wonderful animals, but my favorite happens to be the majestic Florida panther. The Florida panther is a puma subspecies, very similar to a mountain lion or a cougar, and it is one of the most endangered animals on this entire globe. There are approximately only 120 to 160 alive today. Florida panthers once roamed all of the southeastern United States, but due largely to habitat loss, they can now only be found in this limited area of South Florida. In 2003, the National Park Service created a Florida Panther Capturing Program here inside of Big Cypress National Preserve. The capture program was meant to collar a percentage of the panther population inside of the preserve. By tracking these animals, scientists can learn more about panther behavior, such as their range and habitat needs. Tracking panthers also provides a very keen ability to anticipate situations that may impact the population, such as human disturbances or development. In order to radio collar and gather this wonderful information from panthers, we must first find them. Panther capture season goes usually from late winter to early spring, and it involves finding a panther, tranquilizing it, taking its vitals, and then placing a radio collar around its neck. Now tracking a panther involves a very lively set of characters. The first thing you're going to need are hounds. The capture team brings in hounds that can find a panther scent and trail the cat through the sometimes rough, treacherous terrain of Big Cypress. The hounds will at times follow a scent for many miles before they can get close to the actual cat. After a strong panther scent has been found, the dogs will chase the cat up a tree, a pretty common practice no matter where you are in the world. Once the panther is treed, the capture team will use a tranquilizer dart to put the cat to sleep. Generally, the sleeping cat will fall from the tree into the safety netting waiting below, but occasionally the cat will get caught in a tree branch. Then it is the job of the tree climber to scurry up and lower that very large feline down to safety. With the sleeping panther on the ground, it is time for the real work to begin. Park service veterinarians and wildlife biologists will monitor the cat's vitals while quickly recording significant features of the animal, such as its weight, height, age, and overall health. Then it is time for the radio collar. When all is said and done, the capture team creeps away, leaving behind a panther with a new piece of jewelry and a blank spot in his memory where the past few hours should have been. Scientists use a system called radio telemetry in order to track the radio signal being sent out by the panther's collar. A wealth of information has already been discovered by these collars. Scientists have learned more about the individual needs of territory for each male cat approximately 200 square miles for each one. They have learned more about the habitats that panthers will seek out to make their dens. We have even been able to discover more about the different corridors which panthers will travel. Now this insight into their travel has been extremely helpful because we have been able to create overpasses and panther crossing zones along state highways that will protect these cats from being hit on the road. The Florida Panther Capture Team is a creative and fun way to help protect one of Big Cypress National Preserve's most unique of animals. The research provided by this team can help us all do a part to return the majestic Florida Panther back to its former glory.